Wow, what a beautiful moon. Can you see the moon shining brightly? Assalamualaikum. Do you know that the moon does not emit its own light? The moon only reflects the light from the sun. It is just like the mirror reflects light from a torch. The moon rotates on its axis. And at the same time, the moon revolves around the earth. Do you know how many days does the moon take to complete one rotation? And do you know how many days the moon take to complete one revolution around the earth? The duration of rotation and revolution of the moon is the same. It takes 27 and one third days to rotate on its axis. And it also takes 27 and one third days to revolve around the Earth. That is why the surface of the moon facing the Earth is always the same. The direction of rotation and revolution of the moon is also the same, that is anti-clockwise. Do you realize that the size of the moon changes from time to time? Sometimes it looks like a banana, but sometimes it looks like a ball. The different shapes of the moon is known as phases of the moon. The first stage is new moon. The dark side of the moon is facing the earth. And that's why we cannot see the moon. Second stage is crescent moon. A small section of the moon's surface that is lit up by the sunlight is facing the earth. Then, half moon. A half section of the moon's surface that is lit up by the sunlight is facing the earth. After that, Gibbous moon, a large section of the moon's surface that is lit up by the sunlight is facing the earth. Then, full moon, a whole section of the moon's surface that lit up by the sunlight is facing the earth. As you can see that, from new moon to full moon, the size of the moon is increasing. It becomes bigger and bigger until full moon. Now, after the full moon, it goes back to gibbous moon, half moon, crescent moon, and new moon again. This time, the size of the moon is decreasing. It becomes smaller and smaller until new moon. Okay now, look at this diagram. Okay. This is a new moon and this is a crescent. Okay. What is the difference between this crescent and this crescent? This are cre this is a crescent and this one also is a crescent. This is half moon and this is half moon. So what is the difference? Okay. Now, from new moon, we go to crescent. This crescent is a new crescent. A new crescent. The shape is like a, it's like an alphabet D. Okay. The shape is like an alphabet D. Capital letter D. Okay. And then, so, look at this. Okay, then 
Gibbous moon. Also D shape. Then full moon. Full moon is a circle. It's just like an O. Okay, O. And then gibbous moon again. This gibbous moon is just like a C. Alphabet C. Okay. Continue with half moon. C. The shape is like C. And this crescent also C. Okay. D. D. All this D then comes to O. And then C. How to remember it? the new moon D and then it become O and then last it become C Doc remember Doc Doctor Doc D-O-C okay so that is how we differentiate the shape of the moon the lunar calendar is also known as the hijra calendar the dates of the lunar calendar are determined by the phases of the moon. Now, look at this diagram. As you can see, new moon is on day 1 or day 2 of a lunar calendar. Then, crescent moon from day 3 to day 6. Half moon, day 7 to day 10. Gibbous moon 11 to 13 and full moon 14 to 16 and then back to Gibbous moon 17 to 20 half moon 21 to 24 and crescent moon from day 25 to 28 and finally back to new moon again 29 to 1 again the new moon is always on the first day of the month in lunar calendar and the full moon always appears in the middle of the month that is on the 15th okay that's all for today see you next time bye bye